All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, so if you've noticed the change in... Uh, my screen i'm using an ultra wide monitor so uh that's why it looks different than uh, the last clip but uh yeah let's continue with this so like i said for the golf text it is uh pretty much the same thing so let's just type out our text uh i don't know what font he used or right, i'm just gonna use this one it's not uh that similar but i'm just gonna go with it so here i got my text i'm going to change the color so let's go with green Let's place it right here and let's, let's place it right here and let's check it out. Okay, so you want to go right click and go to rasterize type. We're going to go to our rectangular marquee tool and we're just going to highlight the O and hit delete. And we're going to hit control D to get rid of the selection. All right, now that we have this, uh, let me see. Okay. Now we're going to right click and go into our blending options, create an overlay, make this 90, and we're going to change the color here to up here. Alright, there's sort of an inner shadow thing going on here, so I'm going to add an inner shadow, change the color to black, and the mode to overlay, bring the choke up, and also the size. Alright, I'm gonna add another inner shadow. Bring the choke up. Color to white, distance, and adjust the angle. Change this to overlay, and we got this nice effect. Alright, now for the text effects, they are pretty pretty easy to do. Um, rasterize layer style, make a new layer, clip it into the text. Then we're gonna go pencil, and you can just draw a bunch of shapes. And just cut them out later and you could achieve this effect so that's what i'm doing right now and just draw these shapes clip these in make a new layer um draw more shapes and we're just gonna take these go into overlay mode All right this one's the overlay use your eraser tool and you can race out some parts. There we go. Put these onto overlay. And this one onto overlay. As well. Erase out some parts. And just take these and duplicate them over and over. So we got this here. We're gonna copy the, uh, the text, so hold alt, drag this down, we're gonna go control T, drag these corners to bring it uh, in, make it smaller, we're just gonna move this up. Now we're gonna change the color, so select a color and make a new layer, go to your color picker, we're gonna pick on this color and go to our pen tool. Now, we're just going to connect these points to uh, make our 3D effect. There we go. I go right here. Down here. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so once you are happy with that, um, I just gotta fix one part, actually. This, uh, G is kinda bothering me. There we go. Uh, right over there. Alright, that is a lot better. Now we're gonna take off these and hold shift, click, and control E to group this, uh, back piece, back layer thing, make a new layer, clip it into this one. We're just going to use our brush, my colors on black, 
and I'm just going to brush along here as well as here and over here so just kind of follow along there we go one change to overlay and you can make a new layer clip it in as well and use your brush make it white this time and just paint something like this and over here all right looks good to me change the mode to overlay okay and now we're just gonna take everything so click hold shift click on the top control G control J to copy control E to flatten so we have a so we have a backup right over there I'm bring this up all right so he added a white stroke I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well there we go so bring our super text back to the top so we got super and put in the golf ball let's adjust the size there we go put the golf ball right over there check out what we got um so there's this like spike thing make a new layer use your pencil we're just gonna pen this out boom up here and let's go over here so this is a gradient but I'm just going to make it a solid color to save some time put this behind our golf ball and this has a stroke on it so let me check this out again add a stroke and make it this color alright there we go um this is sharp actually it would have been better if you uh, pencil this part but for the sake of time it works so we got super golf alright this actually goes on top of the uh, super text like that so we got super golf um, uh, we are actually almost done now I just want to take everything and uh, make it into a logo so let's take everything here alright and we're gonna go control G control J and control E we're gonna make a new layer underneath our layer we're gonna hold control and we're just gonna click here go to select modify expand by 25 we're just gonna hit all backspace to fill the background up you might have to hit it a couple times all right now make a new layer go to your brush tool opacity all the way up flow hardness and we're gonna turn spacing to 1% now I just want to fill in these gaps now you just have to adjust the colors so let's bring this up so uh, let's merge these two bring this up we're gonna go to right click blending options we're gonna go to gradient overlay and choose the and choose the bottom color to the top color we can also add a middle color right over here there we go and also maybe one right over here so there we go and you can bring up the scale this will help blend the colors in now I'm gonna right click and rasterize layer start with this make a new layer clip it into the background use my brush tool hardness down opacity and flow is gonna be down and now I'm just going to paint just uh, use black and white just paint all over all right now we're gonna take these hold shift click control G control J control E and we're gonna use our brush tool again bring this up once again or you can just go to hard round actually we use our white go from the top I'll make sure it's clipped in make a new layer clip it into the logo and we're just going to make some stripes just like that right and when you go we're gonna go to overlay mode turn this down 
there we go and uh, let's merge these so control E copy this again and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to camera raw filter right over here and go to basic adjust the vibrance up you can bring texture up clarity so you just want to mess with these settings until you get something that you like so go here there we go um, curve alright so if you see the before and after alright and let's merge these so to present your logo is very easy um, hold alt we're gonna make a copy control T to scale it up go to filter blur and Gaussian blur we're just gonna blur this up drop this down and we're just gonna lower this and you just want to add a nice outer glow on normal bring this up and um, yeah there you have it that is the super golf logo I know I skipped some parts thanks for tuning in and making it to the end of this tutorial if you have suggestions on what we should do make sure you leave a comment down below we're here to help so Anything you want to learn, make sure you comment it down below. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time.